Exploring the details. Ex Libris approach. Following the initial definition and design of the service through creating a collective model with bricks, participants are encouraged to explore all possible aspects of the model. At this stage, the business model U Canvas is used. The business model Canvas is licensed under Creative Commons. There are multiple versions available in different languages. It is easy to find, edit, and use tool. Within Xlibris approach, it is used for service development for libraries. The Canvas should be translated into participants' language, if not available in that particular language, to make sure that participants understand each segment in the Canvas. If and when necessary, the Canvas can be adapted to the jargon of the profession. For instance, for libraries, it is better to use the term user instead of customer and to use the term benefit instead of revenue. The canvas is introduced to participants and each segment in the canvas is explained. Business Model U Canvas is a derivative work from Business Model Canvas and includes the same nine building blocks. Each block helps participants to further explore a different aspects of the proposed service. Here, to provide concrete examples, the segments in the canvas will be filled for Xlibris project. At the customer segment, following questions are answered. Who is the target user group? For whom you are creating this service? In other words, for whom you create the value? Who is the most important user group? Does this service target the most important user group? Within Xlibris example, main target groups are library users, librarians from all types of libraries, such as public, school, academic libraries, other information professionals, library and information science students. At the value provided segment, describe specific benefits users will get from this service. Try to answer following questions. Which needs this service will satisfy? Does it increase convenience or usability? Does it improve service quality and performance? Does it increase user satisfaction? Within Xlibris example, integrating end users in service design and creating services which address their needs and desires are the values provided. At the channel segment, Questions to answer are Through which channels do your users want to be reached? Which channels work best with the target user group? Which channels will be used to provide user awareness? How new potential users will find out about this service? Which delivery channels are the most desirable for users? Within Xlibris, example channels are mainly website postings, newsletters, social media postings, especially Facebook and Twitter, several workshops organized at international conferences, as well as postings to professional discussion lists. How users will be interacted and communicated are explained at the customer relationship segment. How the service will be delivered. Face-to-face, -face, remote access. Within Xlibris, Face-to-face -face interaction was heavily used. Some project outcomes will be delivered remotely through e-platforms. Benefits segment requires information mainly about soft benefits since libraries are non-profit organizations. This might include satisfaction, enjoyment, flexible hours, quality, fully used services, heavily used collection, more time for other services, professional development, reputation, and recognition. Some of the soft benefits, such as professional satisfaction, professional development, reputation, recognition, are also the benefits gained from Xlibris. What key resources we have are explained in the Key Resources segment. These are the resources to deliver what we promise. It includes existing personal and professional qualifications, tools, equipment, qualified personnel. Within Xlibris, 
qualified staff from partner institutions, smart ICT, and templates are some examples for key resources. What key activities we will perform to provide the service are listed here at the key activities segment. All major activities should be mentioned. User profile definition, research on smart services, training on Web 2.0 tools, team building, service co-design with innovative methodologies, crowdsourcing for obtaining inputs, Prototyping new smart services are examples from Xlibris. Who will help to provide this service are listed at the key partners segment. It could be suppliers, academic staff, other libraries and information centers, vendors, professional associations. How, in what way does each partner will help to provide it? Within Xlibris, key partners are project partners, library users, librarians, external experts. At the cost segment, what you give as well as what you give up are summarized. Excessive time commitment, energy, stress, low recognition, lack of flexibility, extra energy, time commitment, skills, professional knowledge, and expertise can be mentioned regarding Xlibris example. Tips for filling the canvas 1. Make each group to fill in one canvas based on their shared model. 2. Allocate enough time for this exercise to allow teams to discuss every segment in the canvas. 3. Use the right size of the canvas, A1 or AO minimum. 4. Provide help when needed for further explanations about Canvas segments. 5. Encourage participants to use keywords and write them on sticky notes. 6. Encourage participants to write with big letters, so that it can be read from a distance. 7. Allow 4-5 minutes for presentations. 8. Listen carefully and make reflections. 9. When necessary, add, remove, and relocate sticky notes. However, make sure that these changes are agreed and understood by the team members.